between the pinout on the back of the ECU and the provided diagram, it's rather simple to wire one of these up. I personally did not use the IAC valve. I set the throttle body to idle when warm and blip the throttle a couple times on startup. Otherwise, this ECU is extremely simple. You can buy these coils new for a 2008 Yaris at O'Reilly's or wherever, but I pay about $8 per coil at a junkyard. The smart coil from Toyota is available in all kinds of different cars. You want to look at the last digits on the part number. See how it says 02249? That's what you're looking for. The four pin 02249 coil. The information to wire these is all over the internet, but it's pretty simple. The trigger wires are the hard part with the micro squirt. You're going to be using wasted spark. So as you can see here, you're going to need to modify your WLED circuit with the 600K resistor. Not the 1000 that they show on the website, but follow the instructions on the micro squirt manual and you'll have no problem. Okay, so these are 0204 WRX injectors. They're 440 stock. And if you see, this isn't technically the best way to do it. You should get injectors, but that's the screen or a cap. And if you chuck it in the drill like that, you gotta be real careful so you don't damage the injector, but you're able to spin it. on the grinder. You don't have to do it for a long time. You just go like that, while the grinder's running, and it'll shave it down, and it'll pop that cap off. And then this is effectively a 880 or 900 cc injector now. Good for E85. Okay, so, on the JZ R32, I'm going E85, well I've gone E85. This is the pump that came out of it. I ran the number, it's like a AutoZone advanced something or other out of like a Ford truck. And I put this guy in, this is a Isis Performance 255. It's a relic of a different time. And ran this for like five hours. I had no problems with it, but went ahead and picked up a Walbro 525. This is a Hellcat pump. Should be good for like 800 horsepower. And then if you look at the wiring, the wiring here on the sending unit is nice and girthy, but excuse my mess of a trunk. If you look here, it's got like 12 gauge. And there's a huge voltage drop from coming from the front engine bay fuse box to the rear of the car here. So since I have a my battery relocated all super officially in a dope box that's supplied from Harbor Freight, I'm just gonna run a positive with the fuse to this here relay. And then the trigger is going to come off of the stock relay, which is actually being triggered through my ECU. So that'll work. And then okay. I was able to... <clears throat> got both the positive and the negative soldered on this side. So the pump should be able to go in now.
it, it boosted the phone out of my hand momentarily. <laughs> That's about as official as I'm gonna get, you know? E85, baby.